Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching episode 8 of the Wilderness series on Wastelands. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How is everyone doing today? Oh my goodness. I tell you what. I tell you what. We have been busy here at our mining facility, our mining location, our quarry, whatever it is that you want to call it in your hearts. Oh man. I tell you what. Yep. So we have, uh, I want to say almost put on a hundred thousand um, dollars give or take I think we're right at about eighty thousand dollars we've made from screwing around over here now prices right now are just about three hundred dollars per thousand liters um, once the price got up to about eighty I think is what it was is I that was about the time that I jumped in and started doing this um, as you can see, we had gone ahead and extended our initial field. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a little while. I've gone ahead and uh, done the soil sampling on all that, so that's all ready to go looking at it that way. Um, but I have been pretty much here for quite some time. Ooh, I'd say jeepers, I'm not sure how long it's been. Uh, a good two hours I think screwing around with this so uh, it does the price go up can you make as much money off this compared to oh let's say logging no this is this this isn't as good of money as as logging as of right now um, I have done a little bit of digging <laughs> um, I've done a little bit of digging and it I think if we were to potentially invest in some larger equipment, larger machinery, then we might be able to, I, I don't want to say turn more of a profit, uh, but we might be able to turn a quicker profit, if that makes sense to you guys. But for the time being, this is the setup we got, and we're going to make it work while we can. Um, yeah, like I said, we've been doing pretty good. It's the price is probably right around 300 right about now. Uh, I don't remember if it had gotten all the way up to 300 yet or if it's at 299. Uh, 299 was the last I seen, so we'll kind of see where this one ends up going. Um, I'm thinking once we get over the $300 mark, then we will finally be making $6,000 a load. Uh, currently, I have not been getting $6,000 load. It's been, I think the first load I brought in was about $540, or not $540, $5,400 for one load. Um, and this last load that I brought in was, I think, $5,980. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it was doing pretty darn good. So we have made... Like I said, about $80,000 now, maybe $70,000, give or take, off of uh, just doing uh, the rock here that we're that we're mining. Um, but yeah, I mean that that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing, going back and forth, back and forth, making whatever we could off of this. Again, this is one of those let's strike while the iron's hot sort of scenarios. Um, but like I said, I don't know if I want to take an upgrade this current setup that we're using. Uh, the truck is great. I'm going to use it for a grain truck for the time being. But I don't know if we want to look at getting another front loader, swapping out front loaders. I, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so 5,995. All right, so we are still probably at that $299 uh, range. So uh, we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty darn good, I will say that for sure. But uh, it's it's been kind of a slow grind. And as you can see, like I said, 
that was the dollar amount we just made there. I've been at it for a while. <laughs> As uh, someone else would say, I've been busy. I have been busy. Off camera, obviously, here. Um, I have not checked on our apples or anything like that since we last left off. Um, I am thinking about potentially expanding that operation that we got going on over there. I'm not entirely sure what we want to do yet with that. So we're going to keep moving forward with what we've got going on. Um, I think... I think I'll probably go ahead and take a couple more loads of this stuff here. Uh, our white rock before we kind of look at potentially settling on down. But I'm not 100% sure. I mean, we got a lot of things we got to take care of. Uh, I think one of our priorities we want to be looking at here more than anything else is going to be some place to sleep uh, because our current accommodations it's not like we're staying at the Ritz by any means uh, it's not a four star I don't even know if it's one star I mean I think it's pretty much we're in the hole on stars for the accommodations that we got uh, but it's something that keeps us out of the weather. Uh, thankfully, since that first day, we really haven't had much rain. Uh, hopefully, it can stay that way. But I guess if it does, it's not the end of the world. We can still log. We can still mine. Uh, so we got that going for us. Like I said, don't think this is going to be our, our, our number one thing we're doing here. We still got logging. We got to get the farm rocking and rolling. Um, but I think one of the next things we're going to end up looking at doing is last time when we first did our first when we did our first field I should say uh, I we didn't get the best possible yield out of that now we were going ahead and trying to figure that out I think there's uh, I don't know there's like a rock or something I don't know if I can just put this in the field I don't know um, no that's right that's right it was lime they wanted they were the people in town were saying, well, if you want to get a better yield, you got to make sure the pH level is correct. They said, you know, going and putting lime down is really going to help that out. So I think that's something we're going to look into pretty quick here. Uh, I'm not sure if if that's going to be the next thing we take a peek at, but it's going to be one of those things we're going to look at very, very soon here uh, just to get ourselves rock and rolling. Uh, but like I said here, I'm going to keep going on with this for just a little bit, get a couple more loads in before we move on, uh, as I'd be pretty sure things will end up topping out pretty soon here. But uh, until that time, we'll keep rocking. <laughs> All right, everyone, we are back, and we have got ourselves a lime spreader. Ooh. And I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and take this opportunity to stock up on a little bit of lime. Since we don't have any easy lime access anywhere on the map, there's no lime cell points. Get that go. There we go. Uh, figure might as well go ahead and stock up on it while we can. We brought the truck down here. We brought the tractor down here. Um, we actually... To, to save on time, we actually put the tractor on the back of the truck and then drove down here like that. Uh, I just offloaded. I figure, you know what, if I can save myself at least one trip, why not? Um, I actually did try with these larger pallets. Oh, come on. Is this... There we go. I actually tried with those double stack pallets um, because in the game, lime is such a heavy, heavy thing. I cannot actually physically pick them up. So, yeah, we ended up uh, starting off by going ahead and getting uh, these single stack. Ooh, come on. The single, come on. Here, good enough. Yeah, these single, these single stack pallets of lime. We'll see how that ends up working out. Hopefully it'll work out okay here. Uh, but for the time being, we're just going to have to do what we can. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get this a little bit closer. 
because we want to get this last pallet. I figure, you know what, if we can at least go ahead and get all the lime, or at least fill this thing up right now, we'll be fine for the time being. We'll let that go ahead and keep rocking and rolling while we try and get the rest of this stuff on, which uh, I'll probably struggle with, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice that the the shop down here lets people use forklifts uh, to be able to get our bits and pieces on to trailers and whatnot. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised they let me go ahead and use the forklift after... After I put my own truck into the river. Eesh. I try not to think about that, but it comes back and haunts me almost every day. <laughs> oh, man. So it's looking like we're probably going to need to get just a little bit more. Uh, I'm anticipating, because this is the first time we're going to be liming our fields, that we're probably going to need a ton of lime. Okay, so that's... Let's come over here and check on this, see how much we actually have in here right now. Uh, so we have 26,000, or not 26,000, we have 12,600, 89% uh, full. We're not going to go ahead and get another pallet, we'll just, we'll just say it is what it is. Uh, we'll end up driving that guy back here in just a little bit. But let's get this last pallet onto the truck, if I can get myself off the truck. Um... You know, we'll probably go ahead and buy one more before we get out of here. But, oh shoot. I was hoping. I was hoping I could get it, but uh, it was not the case. There we go. Um, so, I did take a couple more loads of lime. Or not lime, I'm sorry. I did take a couple more loads of our rock uh, and sold it uh, right after we left the price did finally go up to $600, or not $600, $300 per thousand liters, so that is good news, I'm not on the truck yet, um, and I think what I'll probably end up doing is, because I've already taken so much lime in, price is still going up, I think the best thing for me to do is just, oh, there's a collision on there, that's pretty far back. Uh, that must be, like, where the, uh, the ramps come down. There's just an automatic collision there. Anyways, um, because we have done a pretty darn good job... Let's see if I can pick this up. I'm doubting it. Uh, because we've done a good job with bringing the lime and making a bunch of cash, I think I'm going to hold off and wait. And when prices jump back up, I think we'll go ahead and take a look at getting back over there. Or I should say top out when the prices top out maybe we'll look at going ahead well that's kind of weird we'll give it a shot though oh this is the manure mm, I think we'll just leave the manure right here for right now because I'm not sure when we're going to go ahead and need that again um, but yeah I think we'll go ahead we'll go back to the farm we'll get everything back over there um, and I will jump back in with you once we get over there, because there's a couple things over there I'd like to show you guys. But, uh, yeah, so just kind of hang tight, and we'll get over there in just a minute or two. Alright, guys, so one of the things that I did forget is I actually did finish doing the soil samples out there, but I never sent them in, so... Let's send them in right now. We'll wait for results and we'll figure out what we got to do. But for the time being, I'm going to take this and set this down over here. Uh, there are just... Gosh. I have just been neglecting a lot of different things, guys. And I'm going to end up having to do something about this. Because we can't just keep having everything just sit all over the place out here. I mean, I got the tractor sitting right there. I got my sprayer, the cedar. I mean, everything's just all all over the place. Ugh, we can't have that. We can't have that. We got to do something about that. Um, but I did go ahead and collect all that grass. I threw it into a large pile right here. All the grass that we had cut around here, and as you can see, it's already starting to grow up again. So 
we're doing good. We're going to have to get that into our bunker silo so that we can go ahead, smash it down, and make some silage. Also, as you guys notice, that field is plowed. Our new field, the extension has been added on. Things have, let's climb up the top of this. The things have been done, but where'd the straw go? Well, I picked up the straw, and because, again, we don't have a storage facility yet. Okay, analyzed. Good. Uh, because we don't have a storage facility, I just put the straw back here. I didn't know what to do with it. Man, there's just... <sighs> there's a lot of stuff for us to do. An absolute lot of stuff for us to do. Here at the farm, that is. The, the the biggest thing that's pulling me away from doing all this stuff right now is that the price of our quarry, our, our the mineral that we're mining, is is as high as it's probably going to get at at a pop. So it's making it hard for me to sit over here and do all the necessary things that we have to do. I mean. It really is kind of unfortunate. It really is. It's a good problem to have. How are we going to make money today? Oh, man. I, I really wonder if that was something that Grandpa really ever had any issues with or anything like that. I honestly don't know. I just don't know. But let's go like this. I'm going to attach that. And let's take a look at our map. So it does look like we have some loam, some sandy loam, and some silty clay. My gosh, this is like a rainbow effect we got going on here. Um, let's see, the pH levels. The pH levels aren't bad, actually. They're actually not too bad. We'll go ahead and throw something on there, make it nice. And we kind of figured fertilizer is going to be kind of low. Um, the only reason why I can guess is this is a little bit higher, probably because I either miss some crops or I mowed or plowed underneath some grass. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure, but we're going to get rocking here. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to take a peek at that really quick. Okay, there we go. Just to see where we're at. See, this probably has to unfold. And there we go. Let's start spreading. Let's start spreading. Like I said, uh, with this being one of the first times we're spreading lime on the field, I'm pretty sure we're going to go through a lot of it. Uh, but in the long run, it's just going to help us out. And I have not had an opportunity to talk to the oh, Register of Deeds. The I never can remember the name of the person. Uh, the person in town that's in charge of the land when we go ahead and buy it. I have not talked to them yet about our little forestry area that we're looking at getting over there. Now, with that being said, I, like, I, like I said, I know we are leasing currently the Scorpion King. I would like to go ahead and purchase that, if not purchase something else that we can use. Because I don't, I don't want to, honestly, I don't want to keep leasing. I mean, this is our farm. Uh, I, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to lease. I, I want to buy our stuff. So, again, it, it's just another one of them things. We're, we're looking at trying to do a ton of stuff all at once. Uh, a lot of that has to do with, there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done, so... Uh, speaking of things that need to be done, these fields here need to be limed. I think I'm just going to keep rocking and rolling, get them all limed up. And I, I'm i not sure what we're going to go ahead and plant, but I think we're going to go ahead and plant everything up right away. Yeah, I think we're going to go plant everything up right of the way. So I tell you what, once I get done with this, I will probably, I don't know if I'll bring you back in right away or if we'll look at planting or what. So I will catch you guys in a little while. 
All right, guys, so I'm actually bringing you in a little bit early. I forgot to mention this to you. Um, after we got done plowing this field under and getting it all nice and neat, one of the things that I ended up having to do just by driving over this area, taking soil samples, was I actually had to do a little bit of landscaping on this field. There were just a lot of really rough and nasty areas. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see what ends up happening after this first harvest. If for some reason I I have problems, I, I almost can guarantee I'm going to have problems seeding out in this field. Uh, I'll probably have to hit the field in different directions just to see what ends up happening. Um, but if for some reason that continues on and I end up having to go ahead and we have issues harvesting, the harvester can't harvest certain areas, we'll probably end up going back and doing a little bit more landscaping. Like this area, I had to do a lot of smoothing out. I mean, it's still a little bumpy, but there was a lot of smoothing out that needed to be done on that area back there. Um, and for some reason, I didn't do anything with this. But when I was plowing on this field, down in this lower section right here, the plow kept on getting stuck. Not like there was an, a, a tree or something that I had missed, a stump. It wasn't anything like that. It was, I was getting bogged down and going really, really slow. So, I mean, I, I don't know if a different tractor is, is what we really need, if it's... If it is a little bit more landscaping, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I really am not 100% sure on what the best course of action is for all this. Um, but I guess since we're here and we're looking at this field, a question for you guys out there is, what do you think of the shape of this field? Does this drive you crazy? It, does it drive you absolutely bonkers seeing that here you had an opportunity to create a, a nice field with straight edges, just beautiful, pristine. And instead, I made something that looked like a sick liver or something. <laughs> Go ahead and comment down below. What do you think of the field? Do you think this is a good use of land, or should I have more gone towards... You know, the, the straight edges, making it easier for hiring helpers, uh, just generally driving in a straight line, I guess, is a good way to think of it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always kind of curious. Uh, if I were to get guess, I would say comments are probably going to be split 50-50. I, myself, personally, I like doing uh, fields that are nice and straight. Uh, if I have the opportunity. Normally, that's what I like to do. This, though, on the other hand, I feel like I did not a great job, <laughs> but I tried to use what the land had to offer. Um, and to me, that's kind of what I see uh, in the area that I grew up in. Uh, with the way fields actually looked was okay here's an opportunity here's a chunk of land where you can throw a field in there we go let's go ahead and do it but that's just me uh, like I said comment down below I'd like to know what you guys think um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this taken care of uh, like I said I'll get this finished up here and I'll probably bring you guys back in eh, probably after I've started seeding already. Uh, since we had to jump back in, I wanted to talk about the uh, about this field here. So, like I said, I'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys. So as you can see, I am working on this field right here. We have the I should say I've decided to go ahead and plant canola on this field right here. And on our other field, I decided to go with barley. Now, I made a couple phone calls 
surprisingly, we actually got cell phone reception out here. So that's that's pretty incredible. Um, actually, I had to climb up on top of the hill over there, but let's not talk about that. Um, I was just checking on what prices were for crops and everything. And right now, it seems like the price for barley is really, really low. Well, I'm thinking, I'm taking a gamble. I'm taking a big gamble here. I'm hoping that by the time our crop of barley is ready to harvest, the prices will have gone up. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I don't know. We'll see how this all turns out in the end. But if you notice, there are a couple patches right over here. Let's see if we can get this uh, going back in the right direction here. Then we'll look. Um, there we go. If you see, there are a couple patches over there. There's one little patch right there and a couple, I think it's three patches over there. Um, those are areas of this field that were just too bumpy for me to actually see. Now, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to attack it at a slightly different angle. But I'm thinking after this harvest, what we'll probably end up doing is going back to that particular area and doing a little bit of landscaping. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this guy. This was just a weird little bump that I was actually able to hit when I took a second pass over there and these three little spots right here they actually are fairly bumpy I mean you can even see yeah I mean you can even see it's pretty bad just right there um, so this is going to be quite the issue challenge however you want to look at it moving forward um, so I probably will end up filling this bit in here leveling that out making that a little smoother so that we won't have many issues moving forward okay um, with that being said guys I actually went over to yeah that's turned off um, I actually went over to our pile of grass I was gonna set this off to the side here to take care of that pile of grass, put it into the bunker silo, and start compacting it. Uh, as you can see, it's all gone. There's one patch right here that I just, I just could not pick that up. So I'm wondering, I don't know if that is grass or whatnot, but um, as you can see by looking in the corner there, we have almost 87,000 liters. So that's pretty darn good, I do say so. Um, Actually, what I ended up doing was in between seeding these two fields right here, that's when I decided to come over here and do it just because this, you know, <laughs> um, myself personally, I do enjoy uh, being able to do some multitasking, not like the multitasking we did on the last episode, but multitasking where I can hire a helper or even potentially uh, set up a little course play so that I can have someone or the AI out in the field taking care of things while I can go off and do some of the stuff where you can't have a helper, where you can't have course play take over and work. Um, so to give myself a little bit of a break here, I decided, ah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go over here and take care of this, and we'll kind of go from there. Now, I'm trying not to go ahead and smash this all out and get this out of the bunker silo. I mean, I do have a bucket on the front of this thing. I can pick it back up, but I'm really trying just to smash it down one time and get out while I have the opportunity. Maybe in the future we'll look at getting a larger bunker silo, but I don't know. We'll just keep on moving forward. I mean, I was a little disappointed we couldn't get this in the exact same spot of where Grandpa had his uh silage bunker bunker silo whatever you want to call it the clamp um but we got it pretty darn close we got it pretty darn close so i mean we got we got that going for us it's not too bad um 
But ultimately, we're going to want to go ahead and try and figure out what we're going to do with this. Now, what am I talking about? I, again, this is another one of them things where we just got a lot of stuff we have to try and take care of. I'd like to get some sort of silo. Uh, not another bunker silo, but like an actual silo of some sort. Some sort of storage facility that we can utilize for all of this. Uh, I guess technically this would be like foraging stuff. Foraging crops. I, I, I think so at least. I, I'm not sure. Um, essentially any of this loose grass, hay, straw, anything like that that we'd end up doing. That That's kind of what I'd like to have happen here. Now where is that going to go? I think I, I think I have an idea. I think maybe somewhere over here, just just for close access. To, to be honest with you, I think keeping it close to this uh, this bunker right here is gonna, I think, just make everything a little bit easier in the in the long run. Just do some donuts. So maybe not. We're gonna do some donuts and let's see. Where can I go? Uh, I'll probably go for this corner over here. It does appear that we're good to go. Perfect. Perfecto. And I don't think we had anything come out, so I don't have to really fix anything. Yep, see, there's the line right there. There's the line right there. Everything's in. Let's cover this up. And tomorrow we'll have silage. Ooh. I'm loving it. Now. <sighs> one of the things that is super painful. Oh my gosh, we got weeds coming up now. Gosh darn it, I wanted to spray these fields. Oh my goodness. I, You know, I really want to get to clearing some of these trees. I want to get to going back over there, taking care of some more of the uh, material, our, our, our quarry, while we have the opportunity, while the price is high, but it just seems we just keep getting bogged down by chores. Oh, man. Well, I guess, uh, I guess Grandpa didn't get a break whenever he wanted, so I guess neither do we. Time for some more chores. Gotta get rid of them weeds.
Well, everyone, as you can see, we have been busy. You know, this area right here was awfully lumpy and bumpy and kind of just a mess. So what we decided to do was go ahead and instead of taking every last load of rock or mineral, whatever, from our quarry, the rock from our quarry, we decided that maybe if we take some of that and put it up here, smooth it out. It was going to be a lot of work, I know that. But if we were to go ahead and smooth it out, we might be able to go ahead and clean this up. And you know what? I tell you what, it looks much, much better, much more professional. I don't know what you want to call it, but it definitely seems like the place has been classed up a little bit, you know? When it comes down to it, whoever we can fool, that's the better. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we got going on right here. Uh, you know, just continuing on with the chores. And I realized, my goodness, you know what? We got, we got just an absolute mess here. Uh, so it was pretty much time, it seemed like, to finally come up here and actually do something with everything that we have. So that's what ended up happening. Now, I think I'm going to end up trying to keep, for the time being, um, this place cleaned up a little bit better, a little bit more organized. I'll be honest with you, it's probably not going to last all that long. I'm, I'm kind of messy when it comes to this here. A lot of it is just there's so much stuff to do so much stuff to try and accomplish and I, I, I just don't see the importance of making sure that everything stays organized and taken care of. So let's get that off of there. There we go. So a couple things that we have done here. A couple things that we... Ah, we'll go ahead and keep that on. Um, a couple things we have done is out in these fields, we have gone ahead and fertilized everything. And then after we got done fertilizing everything, we sprayed herbicide on the field. So, as you can see, weeds got up to a certain point before it got to the sprayed land. So hopefully now we shouldn't have to worry about any, any weeds popping up out here. And we should be looking at, whoops, we should be looking at pretty good fertilization state on these fields. Oh yeah, they're perfect. Absolutely perfect. So that's good. Alright, let's get that in there. Oopsie doodle. Now, one of the things that was kind of unfortunate that has happened here, um, which is why we went and took our our rock from our quarry and put it up here and used it as a filler. Oh my goodness. Don't watch. Booyah. <laughs> um, one of the reasons why we took the rock from out our quarry and brought it up here is shortly after prices skyrocketed shortly after I stepped away with you guys the price of our quarry rock just absolutely nosedived I think it's down to two hundred and thirty dollars per thousand liters so it's pretty darn low um, and at that point, there is no reason for us to go ahead and sell anything. Now, I have been kind of thinking, because we did put a lot of effort into that. And we actually made quite a bit of cash when it came to... There we go. When it came to mining our quarry. One thing I was thinking about doing here is maybe we want to look at... I don't know, potentially upgrading our mining equipment uh, there's there's two reasons 
why I was kind of thinking about that one. Um, this guy right here, if I'm going to be starting to do a little bit of forestry in this general area, I'm going to want to have this guy here. I'm not going to want to have to jump back and forth constantly over and over again. That's, it's just not going to be practical. Um, the other thing is, is that... Let go. Let go. Come on. You don't need to be on there. Nope. Come on. There we go. The other thing is, is that the current setup that we have, where it's kind of decent, it works. Yeah, let's just say it works. Um... You gotta figure, we're only picking up so many liters in that bucket, which this is a pretty good bucket for this. Um, it fills up our trailer relatively quick, which our trailer, and not a trailer, our truck here can hold 20,000 liters. So it doesn't take that long to load up. The problem is, is that we're taking a lot of trips back and forth, wasting a bunch of time. Now, as we've seen... The price when it goes up it goes up but it doesn't stay up very long we have to strike while the iron is hot I know you guys heard me say that before so I'm almost thinking next time that the price goes up again we may want to seriously look at investing into some slightly bigger bits of machinery what that's gonna look like I really don't know I really, really don't know, um, but it, it's just kind of an idea. It really is just kind of an idea. Um, but with that all being said, like I said, prices have tanked on our on our material on our rock, so we're just gonna have to let it go for the time being and put our focus back over here. Now our fields have grown pretty pretty well, but we're getting to a point here where we need to have storage for our grains uh, so we can sell at the best prices we need to have a better storage system for our bits and pieces that we have over here we have to go ahead and do something with our storage for this up here so I think what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna leave you here for a little while I'm gonna cut down some more trees because we got to I forgot the harvester down there um, we need to make room. Uh, we really do. We need to make room for storage. We, we can't keep going at the way we're going right now. We need to improve. We need to grow the farm. Um, and we need to make things better. So at this point, like I said, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start cutting more stuff down. I'm going to get rocking and rolling. Make us some more cash so that we can kind of walk away from this area for a little while and really jump into the forestry that we want to do across the lake. Now one thing I cannot do is I cannot build a bridge across this. I already asked uh, the developers in town, or not the necessarily developers, but like the engineers in town and oh my gosh the red flags that went flying up in the air as soon as I mentioned putting anything on the water. Oh boy that got shot down quick oh, so we're going to end up having to build a way around that's not the end of the world there's lots of trees out here so I think that's what we'll do we'll just keep rocking and rolling with this make as much cash as we can and see where it gets us because I tell you what I honestly don't know how many more nights I can sleep in that barn. I know what you're thinking. Because I was thinking the same thing too. Didn't I get rid of this trailer? Yes, I did. But this one's different. It's different. This one's got a gooseneck on it. So it's actually sitting on here much, much better. Um... And then I did get another one of the other trailers. Now, the last trailer that we did have, uh, I took and I sold. And the cost of these two trailers right here is actually still cheaper 
than what I sold the last one back for. So with that being said, it was probably a good decision. I'm thinking I just wish I would have come to this conclusion a while ago because this is actually handling pretty well, um, surprisingly. Uh, ultimately, I would I like to get something... Oh, I don't know, more, more of a permanent setup. Yeah. But for right now, with us using our unwield, not wield, wield loader, this is actually doing pretty darn good. This this is this is more. I I don't know. I don't know what you would say. More more better. More gooder. <laughs> I know that's so wrong. <laughs> Uh, uh, this setup actually works out really slick just because the log poles are relatively low uh, the Lee Bear really doesn't have many issues or m much of an issue getting up and over the top of this so this actually is a really good setup for the loader that we actually have as of this moment what's it going to look like in the future i don't know are we going to upgrade in the future i don't know i don't know uh, I, I guess it depends on how hard and how heavy we really want to hit everything um i'll be honest with you right here this hill this is going to be a big test for me uh we seem to have problems getting up this hill but with this current setup we really didn't slow down too much at all. I wonder if it's because the weight is distributed much better. Um, I'd be kind of curious to see what would end up happening if we got a third trailer on the back of that. I think that's kind of pushing our luck, though. But we'll go ahead and see what this load has in store for us. Now, I have a guess. I got a number in my head. I am going to go ahead and guess that with this wood that we have on here right now, we're probably looking at somewhere between fifty to sixty thousand dollars, just as a guess. Now this trailer here, um, I don't have it loaded up as high as I would have in the past, where I was getting upper thirties, lower forties. Uh, for totals, but it's not that far off and I have two of them So that's why I'm thinking that we're fifty sixty thousand dollars right here worth of wood and if I can do this I Think that might make me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside But we'll see we will see how much we get here. So let's unstrap that one Unstrap that one. Let's hop on out. So, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Fifty, sixty thousand. I'm thinking it's probably closer to sixty thousand. Sixty-eight thousand and two dollars. Booyah! Can I get a booyah in the chat? Oh yeah. Oh man, I tell you what, guys. That is the best, highest note we could go ahead and shut her down on. So if you could. You liking what you're hearing? You're liking what you're seeing? Go ahead and just smash that like button. Oh man! Oh shoot! Actually, let's take a look at this. Can I think I can actually change the height on this if I remember correctly? I don't remember. We'll worry about that later. Go ahead and oh my gosh it, it, help the channel out go ahead and hit subscriptions and I tell you what as of right now we just got our 100th subscription thank you to everyone awfully awfully kind I couldn't have done it out without any of you guys oh man I tell you what if you know of a pretty darn good lumberjack that you can get awfully friendly with and say hey you know what Maybe you'd like to take a look at this. Go ahead and share this video with them. Oh my goodness, I think they may like it. I think they may like it. $68,000 worth of liking. 
Oh, man, go ahead and turn the notification bell on. Have it turned on to all so you know when the next video is going to come out. Oh, I tell you what, guys, it's been fun. It's been grand. Thanks for stopping by.